seated easy seat, Shavasana. Welcome. Pull the flesh away from your sit bones. Root down, lengthen your spine. Let your shoulders fall away from your ears. And just do what feels good to you right here. Maybe move your neck around a little. Take a couple breaths. Whatever's brought you here today, know that you are exactly where you are meant to be. As we begin, let go of all distraction, soften and release. We're gonna do a three part breath where we inhale, we're going to fill the belly, then the lungs, then the chest. We're gonna hold it at the top. And then as we exhale, we're gonna exhale out the chest, the lungs, the belly. Let's begin. Inhale, belly, lungs, chest, hold, two, three. Exhale, chest, lungs, belly. Inhale, belly, lungs, chest, hold. Two, three. Exhale, chest, lungs, belly. Inhale, peace, belly, lungs, chest, hold. Two, three. Exhale, release, chest. Lungs, belly. Open your eyes, soften your gaze, and allow yourself to set an intention for today's practice. Once you have found an intention in your heart, in your mind, gently place an emotion behind your intention. Take a moment to enjoy the clarity that comes with a purposeful intention. We will be revisiting this intention throughout our practice today. I'm going to share with you recently that I gained some internal clarity through having to make a decision in my life. In making these decisions, I've noticed sometimes there is no right or wrong as much as some people and even our conscience would like to tell us that there is. There is just a decision at hand, a choice. There is no good or bad involved. So I find myself asking, what will feed my soul? What choice will bring me peace of mind? Maybe even joy during a sorrowful time. You see, this is the voice we must learn to tune, tune into in our lives. Like a static radio station, finally hitting that channel right on the sweet spot where the music is so clear and pure. Following this voice is when the music of our lives can turn on and shine through. And it really doesn't matter if people walk by and say that decision was right or wrong. What matters is we have chosen to turn up our music to tune in and possibly dance, maybe even in the rain. We may get some crazy looks, but it does not even matter. 
because that thing called consciousness is content knowing we are at peace. We are feeding our own soul by the choices we make. So why not listen where the music takes us? Let us join our voices together in a singular own. Breathe in. Exhale, find your neutral spine. Inhale, curl your toes. And on your exhale, straighten your legs as you lift your sit bones. We're finding our downward dog. High into the air with your heels raised. Keep your knees bent as needed. Your neck and head are a natural extension of your spine. And pedal your feet. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head no and press your hands into the earth as you rotate the creases of your elbows slightly forward, naturally widening your shoulders to create space between your shoulder blades as you draw them back towards your pelvis. Yes. Press your torso forward to your thighs, lengthening your spine, creating space between each vertebra. Feel the internal spiral of your legs as you widen your hips. On your next exhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat. Forward fold. Lifting your sit bones as your torso descends. Keep your knees slightly bent as your legs lengthen and your torso releases. Inhale, half lift, lengthen from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Draw your kneecaps up and gently soften your shoulders away from your ears. Expand at your heart center. Inhale to rise, Tadasana, hands at heart center. You may walk to the front of your mat. 
Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, rise to extended mountain pose. Good morning. Feet are parallel, hip width apart. Lift and spread your toes as you press all four corners of your feet to the earth. Engage your Padabanga. Anchoring your big toes and activate your legs, engaging your thigh muscles. Lift your kneecaps, feel your muscles wrap your bones as you stack bone on bone, feel your muscles wrap to create stability. Engage your Mula Bandha by lifting your pelvic floor and drawing your abdomen up and in. Feel your core firm. This is a very active pose. Create space in your low back. As your sacrum reaches downward, align your ribs over your pelvis. As the energy rises, feel the lift, drawing your shoulders down away from the ears. Opening on all sides, creating space for your breath, your prana to flow. Draw your chin slightly back and in, line with your head over your spine and feel the vertical line of energy with each inhale and exhale. And on your next exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands on each side of your feet. Step back to plank. Your legs spiral inward as you widen your hips and press your back into your heels. Your hands press firmly to the earth, micro bending the elbows, rotating the creases slightly forward. Find space between your shoulders and your ears. Widen your shoulder blades across your chest, down your back, energize your core, finding expansion as you extend the line of your spine from the tail to the crown of your head. Exhale, lower to your knees, chest, chin, modified chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Pressing into your hands. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Feel expansion in your collarbones, opening your heart center. Draw your pubic bone forward to your navel as you release your tailbone towards your heels. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here, we're gonna take a few breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale as if fogging up a mirror. <sighs> through your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. <sighs> this time, as we inhale, we're going to exhale through our nose with the same breath as if our air is slightly constricted and we are fogging up that mirror, but we're going to do it through our nose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This breath is Ujjayi Pranayama, the victorious breath. It is our ocean breath. It is warm, massaging. It generates friction and energy as our bodies begin to prepare for our asanas. It brings clarity and focus. So let us take a moment and revisit our intention now. On your next inhale, bend your knees, look up. At the bottom of your next exhale, step or jump forward to the front of your mat. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, glide arms up. Exhale, fly arms down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step or float back. Chaturanga. You can always modify. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms slide up. Exhale, fly your hands forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Yeah, that was nuts. Inhale, now we are doing Surya Namaskar B. We're gonna inhale, lift your arms overhead with your palms facing each other. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Slide your shoulder blades down, you don't have to sit yet. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Plug your arm bones with your shoulder sockets. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your pelvis, engaging your Core, control your descent. Release your tailbone towards the ear, drawing your abdomen in, keeping your legs parallel to each other. Feel the internal rotation of your thighs around your bones as if you're holding a block between your thighs. Feel your hips widen as you sink down. Find extension through your spine as you telescope your spine forward at a slight incline. Reach through your fingertips as you press down through your shoulders. Draw your chin slightly back and in to find length in your neck. Follow your spine's natural alignment. Utkatasana, chair pose on your next exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back to half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Find your ujjayi breath here, pedal it out. We are going to exhale the right leg through, planting your foot between your hand and turning your left foot at a 45 degree angle, aligning your front and back heels, heel to heel alignment. Lift your toes and ground all four corners of both feet, engaging your padabandha. Square your hips towards the front of the mat. Draw your tailbone down. Your right knee is directly over your ankle. Feel the energy from the back foot as your muscles firm and wrap each bone. Inhale to rise, sweeping your arms to the side, overhead, and as they land parallel, palms are facing one another, rotating pinky slightly inward, Exhale, draw your shoulders away from your ears, creating space in your shoulder blades and chest. Your front thigh is parallel to the earth. Each inhale, feel the lifting of your chest and arms and head. Each exhale, feel the grounding and stability. Bring your awareness back to your original intention. Warrior one. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank, vinyasa to down dog. Exhale, the left leg through, plant your right foot. Inhale, rise to warrior one, engage your ujjayi breath. Soften your face, your jaw. 
jaw. Feel the prana flow through your body. Enjoy the power and ease of this pose. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back, vinyasa to down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale. Forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, plant your palms, step or float back, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, breathe, pedal, observe. On your next exhale, engage your core, bring your right leg through, plant your left foot, rise, warrior one. Exhale, plant your palms, step or float back, vinyasa to down dog. Vinyasa to down dog. Inhale, bend your knees and look up. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair, Utkatasana. Exhale to stand, Tadasana. Feel the prana in your body awakening. Observe. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back. Chaturanga to down dog. Inhale your right leg forward, planting it between your hands. Anchoring your left foot at a 45 degree angle so your right heel intersects your left arch. Ground your feet to the earth, energizing your Padabandha. Inhale your arms out to the sides, parallel to the earth. Plugging your arms into the sockets, lengthening your fingers away from each other. Square your hip bones, release your sacrum downwards. Lift your torso up, warrior two. Exhale, plant the palms. Float back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths here. Bend your knees, sit on your feet, 
toes together. Exhale, fold into child's pose. Massage your temple on your mat. Breathe here. Revisit your intention. Know you are intuitive. You are wise. On your next inhale, find tabletop. Exhale to down dog. Find your ujjayi breath. Exhale your left leg forward, planting it between your hands, anchoring your right foot at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, rise to warrior two. Square your hip bones, root into the pads of your feet. Rise to your energetic center. Beautiful. Breathe here. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Transfer your weight to your left hand. Rotate your body open to the right. Reaching your right arm upward so your arms are perpendicular to the earth. The outer edge of your left foot is on the earth. Stack your right foot on top of your left. Press through your grounding hand as you hug your shoulder joint into your arm. Keep your side body lifted as you press into your feet, breathing into the energy line. Ankles to knees to hips to spine to neck through the crown of your head. Yes, exhale your arm back down. Good. <laughs> now transfer your weight into your right hand. On the inhale, rotate your body open to the left. Stack foot upon foot. Spiral your muscles. Engage your core. Breathe. Find expansion. Open your heart. Soften your jaw. Exhale. Inhale, lower back down. Inhale, lower your knees to tabletop. Exhale, sit back to child's pose. Breathe here. your next exhale, rise vertebra by vertebra. Shoulders fall away. Shake it out. Bring your knees together. Plant your hands. Curl your toes under and stand. Walk to the front of your mat. Inhale to chair, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center. Exhale, twist to the right, hooking your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Keep your torso lifted. Draw your left hip back to square. Keep elongation in the spine. Feel your sacrum level. 
Inhale back to center. Exhale. Inhale, heart, hands to heart center. Exhale, twist to the left. Hooking your right elbow on the left knee. Breathe into this twist. Inhale, find length. Exhale, deepen that twist. Pull your right hip back just a tad bit. There you go. Find ease in your toes without gripping. Good. Inhale back to center. Heel toe your feet to the width of your mat. Angling your toes out and heels in at a 45 degree angle. Exhale, lower your sit bones down between your feet. If you need a block here, feel free to pull lace it beneath your buttocks on your sit bones. Right now, we're going to press your arms into your thighs, your thighs into your arms. Lengthen your spine from your tailbone to your crown. Softly gaze in front of you, malasana. Feel the opening in your hips. Breathe into it. Put your hands in front of you, step back to plank, and on your exhale, lower to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, exhale to down dog. Inhale your right leg up, dialing your toes down, bend your knee at a 90 degree angle. Rotate your hip, stacking it upon hip. Keep your shoulders level, distributing your weight. Feel the stretch in your side body. Rotate your leg back, straighten your leg. Now pull your knee through and plant your knee in pigeon pose. The knee is going to be stacked in line with your hip. And shin is going to be as parallel to the front of the mat as it is willing to go with integrity and ease. Lengthen your left leg behind you as you square your hips to the front of your mat. If your right buttocks does not reach the mat, you can put a blanket or block beneath you for support. Would you like anything? Okay. Engage your leg and lengthen it back, reaching your torso upright. Pushing your palms to the earth, pulling your shoulders down and back, creating space. Breathe into your hip socket. Picture unraveling and unfurling and release. If you want a deeper stretch, feel free to fold over your front leg. You may rest your head on the floor, on a block, on your hands. Just breathe here. You are folded, inhale to rise. Push into your hands, exhale to tabletop. Inhale here, exhale to downward dog. Now we get to do the other side. <laughs> inhale your left leg up. Dialing your toes down, bend your knee at a 90 degree angle, rotate your left hip up, stacking it on top of the right, open through your side body and breathe. 
Rotate back and straighten your leg. Exhale, bring your knees between your hands to set up pigeon on the left side. There you go, take your time. You set it up with integrity and your hips are aligned. Would you like a prop for your hip? And if you would like to fold, you can feel free to go into that fold. Inhale to rise. Push into your hands. Exhale to tabletop. Inhale here. Exhale, sit back on your feet. Take a moment. Slide both feet out and around in front of you and come to Dadasana, seated pose. Scoot up on your mat just a little bit because we're going to lay down. We're going to lower down one vertebra by vertebra. Enjoy this little back massage as you lower, as your core is engaged. Mm, you feel yummy. Your legs are going to be hip width apart. Bend your knees and bring your heels as close to your buttocks as you can. Your shins are perpendicular to the earth. Inhale, lift your hips, arching your lower back as we come in. Away from the earth, tuck your tailbone. Press the soles of your feet to the earth, activate your legs. Keep them parallel, your knees parallel as if you're squeezing a block between your thighs. Lengthen your body, interlace your fingers underneath your back with your arms extended and lift your chest. Walk your shoulders towards each other. Your heels can lift higher into this pose if you would like. Soften your neck, your head, your eyes, your jaw. Release your hands, exhale, descend vertebra by vertebra. Hug your knees into your chest and breathe. Roll side to side, whatever feels good, up and back, side to side. Release your feet back to the floor, mat width apart, and have your knees touch as your knees are your knees are bent and your feet are mat width apart. Yes, now you can windshield wiper your knees back and forth, giving yourself a little back massage there. Now bring your shins parallel to the ground. Knees up, just as we were a cup. There we go, yes, perfect. Shins parallel to the ground. Shimmy your hips over to the left. And fold your knees over to the right. Your arms can go straight out at a T form or a U form. And you can slightly gaze over your left shoulder. Breathe into this twist.
Exhale, knees to center. Shimmy your hips over to the right. Fold those knees over to the left. Gaze over your shoulder, opposite side. Breathe into your chest. Inhale, knees back to the center. We are preparing now for Savasana. You can straighten your legs, allow them to fall outward. Rest your arms, palms up by your sides. Roll your shoulders down, flattening them to the mat. Release all the muscles of your body, soften. Observe the connection between the physical body and the ground. Observe any areas of your body which may be resisting the pull of gravity and allow them to be as they are. Slide in your awareness one layer deeper. Imagine the weight of your bones as they glide downward through softened muscle, tissue, and skin towards the ground. Allow your eyes to sink heavier into their sockets to see if you can feel or sense which eye may be gripping one more than the other. Let your eyelid be relaxed. The base of your skull sink heavier into the ground. Soften any resistance, clenching in your brain and the back of your head.
6 o'clock must be a sign that we are ready to awaken our Savasana. Thank you, Cuckoo. <laughs> ah, let's wiggle your fingers, swirl your toes, allow your body to awaken. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. You may lay there if you would like to listen to this with eyes closed or open, however you would like. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williams. Please roll to your right side. You press into your hands, find your seated position. Let's take a moment to revisit your intention that we set at the beginning of this practice. Access the emotion you placed behind your intention. This is your sankalpa, sending energy in the direction of your intention. Where your mind goes, your energy flows. Can we observe the quality of our thoughts? Maybe even the mantras we repeat to ourselves that we are possibly unaware of. And tune in. Just gently tune into that. Be a witness of your own internal state. Begin to trust your intuition, your internal voice. There is purpose and song and rhythm unique to each one of us. Tune into that music and be present in that beat. On the next inhale, join me in our home. Namaste. Yeah.